What up, y'all? My name is Jacko Motherfucko, and uh, something recently came up in the news. Let me just tell you the date right now is January 3rd, 2013. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> All right, time for the news. Illinois Senate President John Cullerton is passing or is hoping to pass a bill in Congress uh, for the state of Illinois banning all semi-automatic firearms and uh, modern weapons, basically anything that's not a musket or a flintlock revolver or something like that. Basically, if it can fire, if you can pull the hammer back and you can shoot, and then every time you squeeze the trigger, a bullet comes out, that's an automatic weapon. That's a semi-automatic weapon. Semi-automatic, pull the hammer back. Every time you squeeze the trigger, it shoots. Automatic weapon. Every time you squeeze the trigger, you squeeze the trigger once. Bullets keep going out until your magazine or your clip is empty. Okay, uh, here's what he's passing. He's passing a bill that says no automatic firearms, no clips or magazines that hold more than 10 rounds. That's no clips or magazines that hold more than 10 bullets. There's going to be no grandfather law. The only grandfather law he's going to have in this whole deal is if uh, you do have a clip or a magazine that holds more than 10 rounds and stuff like that, you're going to have to go to Springfield and you're going to have to get it registered so that they know that it belongs to you and stuff if it turns up in a crime scene or anything like that. That I agree with. I am more than fine with that. Small, smaller rounds of ammunition per magazine or clip, fine. That's a good idea. But you're going to have to turn in to law enforcement which you're probably going to have to drive all the way to Springfield and take a day off of work to do it because they're not going to show up to your house and collect it unless you're already in trouble. You're going to have to um, hand in any guns that you have. Now, the main thing is assault rifles. If you have assault rifles, ooh, that's bad because of the shootings in uh, Aurora, Colorado at the movie theater with that Holmes guy. And then just recently you had uh, Sandy Hook, uh, Connecticut, a uh, kid with Asperger's disease, like a social recluse and stuff like that. He shot his mother and then he shot 27 other people or 27 people in total, including himself. Uh, so, yes, you know, as much as I hate to say it and stuff like that because I am a, a gun nut and stuff like that, uh, they're going after assault rifles. That's fine. Assault rifles, yes. They're also going after regular rifles, you know, like the kind you would go deer hunting with. Uh you know what I mean? Hunting is not a dead sport. It's survival skills, say the economy collapses or whatever and stuff like that. But I'm ranting. So assault rifles, that's the big topic. They're going after that. Next to assault rifles, they're also going after any semi-automatic weapons. That includes pistols, okay? This is my uh, 9mm Taurus PT-99. And uh, it's semi-automatic, okay? They're going after pistols. I take my pistol to the gun range and I shoot some targets. You know what I mean? I do it. I'm supervised. There's somebody there watching me who owns the property and who's also a law enforcement officer for Toluca, Illinois. You know what I mean? Uh, so the deal is no semi-automatic weapons. You would think that only counts for like large guns and stuff, but no, that also counts for pistols as well. Also going after any special uh, spiral cut gun barrels which is basically any gun that you have now has got this little spiral cut on the inside of the barrel and stuff like that that's that swir swirl pattern on the inside like when you're watching 007 films and stuff how it's opening up and it looks like a shutter of a camera that's actually supposed to be the spiral inside of a gun barrel all right uh, so they're going after rifles uh, well assault rifles they're going after regular rifles they're going after pistols they're going after shotguns Basically, if it's not a musket or a flintlock, flintlock is something you'd see in a pirate movie. If it's not an antique gun, if it's a modern gun, you're going to uh, have to bring that over to a disposal area for the law enforcement officers to go ahead and confiscate that. Whether they're going to melt it down and make cars out of it or playgrounds for kids and stuff, or if they're going to sell it to uh, drug lords in Mexico. You know what I mean? It's completely up to them. I suggest that if this bill does get passed, everyone... Make sure you take the ammo out of your gun first. <laughs> Let me say that again. I suggest to everybody, if this bill does get passed, take the bullets out first, take the ammo out, take a sledgehammer and your gun, 
and just whack your gun until it's completely unoperable. You can't use it at all and stuff. But just take a sledgehammer and just beat your guns to death. That way you know that they're not taking your gun and selling it to another country or to somebody who shouldn't have your gun. You're obviously responsible with your own firearm. You've had it all this time and stuff like that. They're going to take it. They're not going to pay you for it. And by the way, I don't know if you know this, ammunition and weapons in the United States of America cost a lot of money. This puppy right here cost me $450. I doubt that when I bring it into when I bring it into wherever I need to bring it and stuff like that, presumably in Springfield, uh, that they're going to be like, oh, uh, Mr. Jocko, okay, here's $450 for your troubles. You know what I mean? They're not going to do that. We're, we're in a recession right now, almost a depression, probably a depression right now. They're not going to pay you for it. So um, just to wrap it up and sum up, uh, Illinois Senate President John Cullerton is bringing this bill to the Senate tomorrow which is Friday, January 4th, 2013, at 11 a.m. it's going to be voted on, along with gay rights, and I fully support gay rights, all right? But uh, I do not support the government infringing on our Second Amendment right. Even though this is a state law and not a federal law, and state laws do outrank federal laws, like if Maryland said no more cheeseburgers, and the federal government's like, hey, cheeseburgers are okay, you still can't have a cheeseburger in Maryland because they outrank them. Basically, when it comes to saying no to stuff, when it says yes to stuff, like, oh, yeah, you could totally gamble and prostitution's legal and stuff, that's a different matter. But uh, when it comes to saying no to things, the state comes before the federal. So, um, if, and this is coming only a few short weeks after Illinois, uh, after Illinois was considering a concealed carrying legislation where you'd basically be going around and you'd have your firearm on you. Of course, you'd have to take two weeks training on it and stuff, which I'd be fine for. I'd be fine with that, you know what I mean? I think everyone should... If you have anything in your possession that is remotely dangerous, you need to be on top of your game. You need to know exactly what you're doing when you deal with it. But, uh, yeah. Um, almost concealed carry license. Tragedy on December 14th in Connecticut. Illinois is banning ownership of all guns basically and say some drug addict or something like that shows up at your door or just the in-laws and they're mad crazy and stuff like that and they're like let us in and stuff like that you're not allowed to do anything with them except for shoot them with a musket and that's you know well that's how we want our freedom and stuff from britain but anyways uh i digress here's the real story if you are a firearm owner in the state of Illinois, and this gets passed tomorrow, that's it, you're out of luck, you're losing money, you're losing liberty, and you're losing protection for you and your loved ones. So do yourself a favor and call the number at the bottom of the screen, that's 1-217-782-2000. That is the number for Illinois President of the uh, Illinois Senate President John Cullerton. Call him up, annoy the crap out of him. Don't be rude about it. Be civil. And, you know, you're an ambassador to yourself and your community. But uh, call him, call him, call him. And let him know that you will not vote for him or any of his constituents if this bill gets passed in the upcoming elections. All right? Um, on top of that, I think I'll leave you with a quote. A quote from one of my favorite Americans of all time, Mr. Groucho Marx. Politics is the art of looking for trouble, finding it everywhere, diagnosing it incorrectly, and applying the wrong remedies.